Significant figures will be important when we're doing calculations with measurement values, with measured data values. So we need to first define them. And so significant figures, or sometimes I've just shortened it to sig figs, or a lot of times are just SF. So the definition of what makes a, a number, an individual digit significant, is that you have all non-zero digits are significant. So those are your digits one through nine. So this example of a measured value, 1.55 grams for G, this is the one is not zero, the five is not zero, and that five is not zero. So that has three sig figs, three SF, okay? So if you have all one through nine covered, that only leaves zeros. So there are three types of zeros. There's zeros that are called captive zeros, those are between non-zero digits. There's zeros that are leading zeros. Those are leading zeros are on the left. And there's zeros that are trailing zeros and those are on the right. Okay, so you have zeros in between. Then you have zeros on the left, zeros on the right. So let's start with the captive zeros. So captive zeros are always significant. So those are zeros between non-zero digits, like in this example, 1.003 milliliters. The one and the three are significant. And because these zeros are in between, these are also significant. So that's one, two, three, four sig figs in that 1.003 milliliters. Leading zeros, those are the ones on the left. These are never significant. And these are never significant even if there is a decimal. Okay, so even if there's a decimal present, ne that never means never. So for example, in this number, 0 0.00305 milliliters, it's a measured value, it's liquid volume. These are zeros on the left, and zeros on the left are not significant, so they get x values. They're never significant even if there's a decimal. So this three is significant because significant it's one of those digits one through nine. This five is significant, also one of those digits one through nine. And that zero is significant because it's a captive zero. So this has one, two, three sig figs, okay? Trailing zeros are the trickiest. These are significant, significant only if there's a decimal. So those are on the right, and these are significant if there is a decimal, okay? So that is a qualifier. So for example, in this number, 1.00 grams, this again is a measured value, it's a mass of grams. So this one is significant because it is one of those non-zero digits. There's a decimal in the value, so that means all of those zeros on the right are significant. They are therefore one, two, three, four, four sig figs in this 1.00 grams. In this example though, this is another measured mass of grams. This is 1,000 grams. This does not have a decimal. So if there's no decimal, that means those trailing zeros are not significant. So the zeros on the right are not significant if there's no decimal. Okay, so this would be, this one is significant, but not those zeros, those get X's. So only the one that I underlined is one sig fig, so that is a one sig fig in this 1,000 grams. And these, the number of significant figures becomes important when we're doing calculations with measured values and rounding off for significant figures. This number value summarizes a lot of all these concepts for significant figures. So these leading zeros, these are on the left, these are never significant. So this is no, no, and no. This is a zero, these are non-zero digits, the five, the eight, and the three, those are significant. This is a captive zero, this is always significant. Okay, captive zero in between, so that one is significant between the five and the eight. And then trailing zeros are only significant if there's a decimal. And so 
this is a trailing zero. There, since there is a decimal in that value, that trailing zero is significant. So this number value has one, two, three, four, five sig figs.